Today on TLDR from GeekWire. Blue Origin is hiring, and they're preparing to send people to space. Facebook opens a new Seattle office. And 80s technology lives on in Seattle's Living Computers Museum. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, your daily rundown on all things tech. Hey everyone, I'm Starla Simpaco. Today we're giving you a sneak peek of TLDR from GeekWire, a new daily online show that launches the week of March 19th. So make sure to subscribe to GeekWire's YouTube channel so you won't miss any of our episodes when we officially launch. All right, so our first story today is about Blue Origin. There are about 200 job postings on their site, including one for an astronaut experience manager. This person would help create an experience that culminates in the customer becoming an astronaut. The idea is that people will get to go to the edge of space. Last year, GeekWire reporter Alan Boyle got to test out the spaceship. Inside, there's blue mood lighting, cushioned walls, and padded seats that kind of remind me of a dentist's chair. It's possible that paying customers will get to fly out starting next year, but no word yet on how much that would cost. As you might already know, Blue Origin is the space venture of Amazon's Jeff Bezos. As a tech news site, GeekWire covers Amazon and Bezos almost every day, but I never thought I'd say this. He's making headlines for eating iguana. Over the weekend, he attended a dinner in New York to accept the Buzz Aldrin Space Exploration Award. And that's where he was photographed, looking like he was about to take a bite of the lizard. According to Gizmodo, the menu included invasive species to show how our diets could be more sustainable. Master chefs at the event also prepared tarantula and cockroach. Ooh. Bezos Space Venture isn't the only company that's hiring. Facebook has already been in Seattle for eight years and employs about 2,000 people here. And the new 150,000 square foot office on Westlake Avenue has space for 900 more people. Step inside the building and you'll see a lot of color. Walls are covered with murals painted by local artists as part of Facebook's Artists in Residence program. We're starting to uh, build our space uh, to reflect our culture of openness and collaborativeness. That's Vijay Raji, Facebook's VP of Games. He says Facebook is always hiring, and not just for engineering. We have PM roles, we have design, research, marketing, uh, content strategy, analytics, and so on. In other news, if you're feeling nostalgic for the 1980s, you might want to visit the Living Computers Museum in Seattle. Their newest exhibit, Totally 80s Rewind, opens today. It includes three rooms as they'd appear in a typical American setting during that era, like a high school classroom complete with Apple IIe computers, and a basic programming lesson taught on an overhead projector. You'll also find a Sony Walkman, complete with a mixtape featuring The Cure. Stop by the arcade and you can play vintage games like Donkey Kong, Ms. Pac-Man, and Centipede. All of the technology works and the museum encourages people to use them. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure to subscribe to GeekWire's YouTube channel so you won't miss any of our episodes when we officially launch next week. And also follow GeekWire on social to stay updated on the tech industry, startups, and other geekiness. I'm Starla Simpaco. Thanks for watching TLDR.